Currently in this new generation of Formula 1 cars in 2022, weight is a big talking point and issue for all these teams. We've heard so much talk about all the F1 teams being over the minimum weight limit. And of course, in racing, any kilogram higher over that minimum weight you are, you're going to be losing lap time. And that's why we've seen so much extreme paint stripping as of late. I mean, the Williams car pretty much may as well just be bare carbon fiber at this point. McLaren stripped a lot of their engine cover and Red Bull as well. Red Bull even attributed that further weight reduction on their cars for their success at Imola. So I wanted to ask the question, what would happen if a Formula One car was, well, near enough zero kilograms naught. Because in theory, you know, if the F1 teams are taking kilograms of weight off the car and finding performance, then a car that's near enough at zero kilograms might be the best Formula 1 car ever made in history, right? Well, that's why we're here, back returning to Imola virtually with the Ferrari team to see if we can get one up on Red Bull by reducing the weight severely. This is what the weight of the chassis is now in game. As near as we can get to zero because I think zero will pretty much break the game. I mean, for the sake of scientific experiments, at the very end of the video, for your enjoyment, I'll put it to zero and we'll see how quickly the game just crashes and breaks on me. But this is as close as we can get to zero, where the car is probably going to be somewhat drivable. So let's find out. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh my. This is taking porpoising to a new level here, lads. Oh, God. Um, um, uh, are we even moving forwards? I, I feel like this is not the upgrade the Scuderia were hoping for. I feel like the Tifosi may be a little bit upset at what their prancing horse has. But I mean, to be fair, it is prancing very much so. Um, well... Um, this hasn't exactly gone to plan. Something tells me that this car may not be in the setup window it needs to be to perform. I'm just getting an inkling that I feel like performance is not going to be at its peak when it's doing this. Let's retry that. Maybe... Uh, oh no, it's even worse on the retry! It's going sideways now! Heavens! Let's return to Garrett. I assume at this point, the engineers around me are pretty much holding down the car because it's probably going to start taking off on the spot. Let's go again. Come on. Oh my! We were meters off the ground that time! I'm flying in the air! <laughs> I don't want to hear PR63 complain about porpoising ever again, because this, this is a real jump up. Oh my god. Change of tactics, okay? Maybe the time trial spawning in of the flying lap is, you know, not allowing the car to, you know, show its true prowess and performance. So we're going to go out now in a practice session in Grand Prix mode. And let's see what this car is like when we roll into, you know, driving out the pit lane. No sport. Maybe the spawning, you know, the flight of the car, car as it spawns in is making it, you know, jump so violently. So let's see. Um, It's looking pretty okay in right now. You know what? This actually looks pretty normal. It, it feels a bit weird and... Uh, <laughs> It just stops instantly. It's got no weight, so it stops instantly. That's actually quite amazing, you know. And oh my, acceleration's vastly improved. Okay, the weight shedding. Oh my, oh, okay. It does feel like a boat that is, uh, well, floating around, and the braking is ridiculous. That is absolutely amazing. I think Bonotto will be quite happy with his braking performance. Charles can brake very late into every corner now, and definitely outbrake Verstappen with this. The car definitely lacks a bit of top-end speed, though. Acceleration's great, but top-end speed is an... Oh, okay. Oh, it shaked a bit there. Okay, the it doesn't like the curbs. It doesn't like the curbs. Who would have thought? Oh, okay. I keep forgetting that there's instant stop. Like, look, I tap the brake. Duh, stop. <laughs> That's mad. Okay, this is where we were flying about last time. That's calm. Let's now see. Will 0kg improve Leclerc's chances of surviving that spin from Imola? Right, the car's bouncing a bit. Come on, come on. Over the bump. Okay, okay. There's a lot of understeer on every bump. Oh, oh my. Oh, God. 
Oh god, oh god, oh it's Borba! Ah ha ha! It's too much! What happened? It was going so well! Oh, we're still going! It was pretty normal through there. I mean, there was a lot of understeer, but because of the mega breaks, we kept out of the wall, so vast improvement for Charles there from Sunday. And then, well, that's the worst camera angle ever, F1. Thank you for that. That's when the porpoising big Yeah, okay. It's literally hippity hoppity skippity across the track. That's what that is. It seems actually you don't even need to brake, I've realised in this car, is you just simply lift off the throttle. And because the car is so lightweight, we're just we're just going to a stop. And now, oh my god, that's not good. That, oh my, we're rattling, oh, we're rattling Charles's teeth out. Come on, go, go. Yes. It, it would seem this car's really stable in a straight line. As soon as you turn, that's when the vibrations begin. Oh my, it's like the car, oh my, the car wants to take off every time there's a slight vibration. Can I actually somehow control this and get it back on the road? Please, car, brake, apply the brakes. No, that's not doing anything. And we're now just in a free fall. We're trying one kilogram now. So we have gone up by a substantial percentage to what we were just doing, really. But one kilogram is still, you know, a good 700 kg more less than the current crop of F1 cars. So let's see now. Is this going to be quite stable? I think so. Performance even on the higher gears has improved vastly. And the braking's still ridiculous. I think we've actually made a very good F1 car. The acceleration's mad. And the top end speed is pretty good now, actually. I don't know what the... I don't know what the, the, the logic is really behind such a lightweight car actually being worse at top end speed. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe there's just not enough grip going down, like weight going down the tyres, maybe, to get the grip to pull us along. Um, but, yeah, performance has improved that way. Acceleration's still mad. Braking's still mad. It's just really, with such a lightweight car, it's very difficult to actually get used to the handling because it is... It is actually still bogging down a little bit, and you can see the the kind of porpoising and the bouncing is still an issue. Oh god! You just look at this car on the replay, and you, and you know something's wrong. Like this, it looks normal, but at the same time, there's something a bit off-putting. And you can actually see even when it's not buffeting to that level, <laughs> where it literally looks like a dog yapping around. Um, you can actually see subtly it is basically micro porpoising, micro bouncing uh you know as it goes along <laughs> oh god oh it's bouncing even at one kg oh i've controlled it though control it no what's happening it's like being dragged it's like the f1 gods have looked down upon this car and they're legit like dragging it across the track from the rear wing <laughs> okay here we go oh drs is out drag reductions made the car more stable but you can see on the right-hand side, bottom right, heads-up display, the speed has been compromised in a straight line a little bit. But then under braking, very easily through there. Acceleration, not that great though in eighth gear. Let's go down some gears. I think actually fifth gear. Fifth gear might be the most underrated gear of this whole car. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it's bouncing. Come on. Oh, no. No. Come on. It was going well. We set a purple. Now, now it's it's got a mind of its own. I can't control it. I can't control any of this. Oh, we're somehow going in the right direction. Okay, now we're not. So I think we can successfully conclude, like many times on this channel with these experiments, we have been ambitious, but absolutely rubbish. But that has been it for trying to reduce the weight of a Formula 1 car. If you did enjoy the video, hit the like button. Let me know what other experiments you want me to do on the F1 game. If you're new around here, then do get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content. And I'll leave you with what I promised at the start. Zero kilograms. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, I've changed the weight to zero. Actually zero. Let's see if we can even load into the practice session. No. No, we can't. I've been given an error message. There you go. <laughs>